Hey guys, Azrak here and today I got a cool little video for you. As you all must have known from my channel, I've been trying to make action figures at home and I've spent the last few years 3D printing action figures with so many different resins. Resin, however, has issues with some of the smaller parts on my figures such as the ankles and the wrist joints, which are tiny and it's very likely to break. So when JLC PCB reached out to me with an offer to print some parts using their 3D printing service, I really wanted to see their offerings and how it would compare to my resin 3D prints. So that's when I jumped onto JLC PCB's website and they offer 3D printing solutions to customers to 3D print parts without needing to invest in a 3D printer, which I think is a great way to try out 3D printing without having to buy a printer yourself. The Solutions available at JLC PCB range from SLA resins, MJF nylon prints, FDM plastic prints, and even metal 3D prints. I haven't tried that service yet, but I'm really keen to try it one day. And I think uh, 3D printing metal parts would be a really cool way to get into injection molding, which hopefully I get into soon. But along with their 3D printing solutions, they also offer something extremely helpful. And for my case in particular, they had great customer service. I've been in discussions with the team over at JLC PCB for weeks now, discussing my project, what I wanted as an outcome, and what would be the most suitable printing material for my project. After days of back and forth and discussions, they suggested that I use their SLS nylon printing service. Since my prints are highly mechanical and have a lot of moving parts, my primary focus for this project was durability and wear resistance. So before we go any further, full disclaimer, the 3D print is partially sponsored by JLC PCB. They provided me with a $100 discount code for my print so I can get started using their services. So once we had finalized the material, I jumped onto the JLC PCB website to upload all of my files that I require for my project. During the upload process, I did find some issues. So JLC PCB only allows up to 30 files for a single order and files under a certain physical size are not accepted. So files such as wrist joints, chest pegs and neck pegs were not um, allowed for this print. So for this project, I had to make some adjustments and only order parts that are printable on the website. So once I strategized and reformulated my plan of attack, I uploaded the files that I wanted to print. Each action figure part was roughly around $3 for two pieces. So I was ordering two pieces for each of my parts so that I could have spares in case anything happens while I'm assembling the figure. I don't know what this resin is or what this print would be like. So I just wanted to make sure that I had extras just so that I could complete my figure. So uh, after uploading all my pieces, my order of 24 parts, uh, two pieces each, came to about $102, including shipping, which in my opinion is extremely reasonable. The first day after I placed my order, they reached out to me regarding complex parts that I wanted to print, especially with the head, because I had I like a lot of small hair strands, as well as some other parts that had really tiny or thin lips, that they wanted to make sure that I was okay with the possibility of failure and which parts were effective. Uh, once I gave them the go ahead that and that I accepted the risk, um, they started printing. There was a slight delay due to some of the parts not passing their QA. They just wanted to make sure that all of the parts were printed again and I got parts that I ordered in great condition. So that was really nice of them. But uh, yeah, it was a couple days delay. And then once they shipped the box, it took about three days to arrive, which is very speedy. And the box arrived in great condition. All right, so when unboxing the parts, the first thing I noticed was that the parts had a very coarse feel to them almost as if the parts were made of sand, like the grainy texture and the odd, like scratchy feeling is definitely unique. As I laid out my parts on my light box, I did notice that not all the parts that I required was printed. There was This was probably an oversight on my part because when I was choosing which parts to keep and which parts to remove during my re-strategizing kind of bit, I did, I think, remove parts that were supposed to be there. And I, just, I was just trying to work around the 30 part limit. I did end up only printing 24 parts, so I did have some leeway there. So that's definitely on me. Uh, but here we have two almost complete figures side by side, and this is straight out of the box, uh, nothing done to it. Well, now I know which parts I received and I got to work printing out the parts that I needed to complete my figure. The printed parts were done and when I put them together with the JLC PCB parts, the figure was complete, but the parts were completely gray, which stood out like a sore thumb. So I wanted to take some time to heat the parts with some Citadel Chaos Black Primer to get the figures looking a little bit closer to the JLC PCB parts so that at least they were all black. So in terms of differences, the part that I printed at home are a lot smoother and look better due to the resin that I use and also the style of printing. The nylon SLS parts are coarse and some of the details are lost due to the roughness. Uh, however, these parts, what they're extremely good at is that they are durable. Now, regardless of how tough or strong a 3D printed file is, if you intend to break it, you will succeed. Even with figures made by big budget companies, 
casted and molded in plastic. If you misuse it, if you treat them wrong, they will break, even with like the best companies out there. So with that being said, the parts printed by JLC PCB are still super strong and durable in comparison to the resin parts that I have. Even while I was being rough with the parts, I found them to be extremely durable and really difficult to damage, which I think is a really big plus point. Now with hindsight being 2020, if I had to print these files again through JLC PCB, I would recommend printing the visual parts like the hands, the chest, the backs, the thighs, anything that is visible like the head, I would print it in more of the regular resins and the mechanical parts that interact with each other and provide movement to the figure, I would print that in the suggested SLS nylon. So now here we have all the parts laid out and everything's printed and primed and now we're ready to put my action figure together. I had to apply some heat and uh, at certain times use a drill bit similar to the resin 3D prints that I use to slightly adjust the cavity so that everything would slide in without any issues. Uh, again, this is not due to any fault of the resin or the print or the materials. It's just how the figure is built. Um, it is not as precise as plastic and injection molding. So you will need to adjust cavity slightly more than uh, when you just injection mold apart. But for the most part, the print is sol solid and it felt really durable and strong. All the joints snapped in really well and it just works extremely well. There are no issues when I was trying to assemble the, pro uh, assemble the figure, so that was really nice. I did manage to find a great advantage of the coarse parts when I was assembling the figure. Because the parts are coarse, they have inherently more friction, which is really beneficial to the joints because uh, the positions stick better and hold better um, even with a less, like, less, uh, rubbing parts because there is just inherent friction it just sticks to positions better so that's really cool if you want to see a detailed video of the assembly please check out my eradicator video but i'm just going to speed through this here but it was just it just came together really cool Articulation on the figure works so well. Uh, once I had everything put together, I just wanted to put it through its pieces and I articulated everything and it performed right out of the box. I had minimal problems with the articulation and some parts like the forearm on the left side is a little bit loose, but that's totally on my part because when I was drilling away some excess resin, I drilled a tad bit too much and the part is now kind of loose. So I can just put in some super glue to help it stick better, but I've left it in for the video. Uh, and yes, for the keen eyed viewers, we are now using tool articulation on our figures. So moving forward, I will be providing files with tool articulation for all my figures um, on Patreon if you want to uh, support me on there. But now everything's put together. So that's really, really awesome. All right, so the figure is now put together and we are at a stage where I have my conclusions and key learnings that I can share with you. JLC PCB have excellent customer service and they're very understanding and very easy to deal with. They discuss your problems with you and also your project with you so that they can recommend the best solutions based on your requirements. Since I was heavily focused on getting a strong and durable wear resistant print, they provided the perfect recommendation to print with SLS nylon. However, the part is great for articulation, but a bit of detail is lost in the grainy nature of the print. Moving forward, if I was to do this again, I would recommend using the SLS nylon for the joints and the joint system. So parts that are not seen or parts that are like the elbows and the knees and the ankle joints and the wrist joints. Uh, however, I would recommend that for parts that are more visible, like the legs, chest, arms, hands, everything else, using the LEDE 6060 resin, that was the other option. So these parts are still wear resistant and also have some durability, uh, but not as much as the SLS nylon, but I think it just prints better. So that would be the other recommendation. I haven't tried that myself, but nevertheless, I will be trying out more of these resins and facilities at JLC PCB, and I'll provide recommendations to you guys in the future. So in conclusion, it was a really pleasant experience dealing with JLC PCB and collaborating with them on this prototype action figure. I really appreciate all the support and endless back and forth communications uh, to find the best possible solution for my prints. Uh, I did push my prints to be more durable and mechanical, so I ended up using the SLS nylon. 
However, I am really keen on trying their LEDO 6060 resin as well as their metal prints. I think the metal print in particular because I want to eventually start doing injection molding as well. Uh, but yeah, that's something I'm really looking forward to. For all of you that watch my video and do not have a 3D printer to print your own stuff, JLZ PCB has made a $54 discount code available so you can get started uh, with printing on their website. Please check out the link in the description below. Thank you so much JLC PCB for providing me with the discount code and for giving me the opportunity to print these parts out on your website. For all of you out there looking for cool new action figures to print, check out my Patreon where I provide a bunch of 3D printable accessories, action figures and cool files each month. You can find all the latest images and work in progress screenshots on my Instagram. Supporting my Patreon will support this channel and my ability to bring you more 3D printed figures and videos like this one. And one day when I have enough funds, I want to start an action figure company to provide people with blank action figure bodies. Customizing is what got me into the world of 3D printing and I would one day love to be able to provide customers with amazing bodies that they can customize to their heart's content. Thank you so much for watching this video and for supporting all my work. A special thank you goes out to my Patreons Chris and Moses. Thank you so much for all your support and for showing me love early on on my Patreon journey. I really hope you've been enjoying the action figures and I will have a schedule for the rest of 2023 coming to you very soon. So keep an eye out. But thank you so much for watching this video.